We proposed a novel design framework for the parametric generation and modification of yacht hull surfaces. Our proposed design framework is robust and has the ability to produce a variety of yacht hulls such as planing hulls, displacement hulls and semi-displacement hulls. For the creation of this framework, the design process started by dividing the hull into three regions – entrance region, middle region and run region. This division of hull provides a better design flexibility in terms of producing a wide variety of hulls. Each region of hull is formed by creating independent feature curves, which represent the characteristic feature of the hull. For example, the entrance region of the hull consists of deck line, bow line, chin line, keel line and upper and lower line of station 1. Accordingly, the other regions are created. For a higher degree of design freedom, deck, kill, chin and station lines in each region are created by utilizing cubic baser curves. 3D surface models of the hull are generated by forming Kuhn's patches between the feature curves of each region. For the parametric modification of yacht hull, we developed two set of shape operators, group 1 and group 2. Each shape operator is developed to modify the specific feature of the hull. For example, the elongation shape operator is developed to modify the length of the hull while keeping the overall shape of the input hull, whereas widening and deepening shape operators are developed to modify the width and depth of the input hull. Similarly, other shape operators are developed to modify each characteristic feature of the hull. In order to perform the feasible shape modification, shape operators utilize three important quality criteria, which are G1 geometric continuity, hull fairness and independent modification of parameters. G1 geometric continuity criterion is taken in order to have a smooth transition between the surfaces of hull regions. Hull fairness is important in terms of hull hydrodynamic performance. The criterion of the independent modification of parameters is considered to provide the ability to shape operators to perform modification on the specific feature of the hull. For instance, we have two design parameters, h and theta, where h is the vertical bow length and theta is the bow angle. While modifying the angle theta, length h should remain unaffected. Each region of the hull consists of independent design parameters. For example, le is the length of the entrance region. LM is the length of the middle region and LR is the length of the run region. For the detailed description of design parameters, viewers should refer to the original article of the study. The proposed design framework has the ability to transform one type of hull into a completely different one. For example, a user can transform a planing hull to a displacement hull by using appropriate shape operators. The conversion of the planing hull to a displacement hull can be performed by using a chain remover shape operator and minimum radius of curvature shape operator. These examples of the resulting hulls obtained after implementing the shape operators. After performing the design modification using shape operators, we verified the hull fairness by displaying the zebra stripes which have been utilized widely in CAD for the verification of surface fairness. The irregular transition of zebra stripes confirms an unfair hull, whereas the smooth transition of zebra stripes guarantees the formation of fair hull and G1 continuity between the hull regions. We also compared the ability of the proposed framework with the existing state-of-the-art parametric hull design techniques. The technique proposed by Kalkins et al. can only produce planing hulls, 
while the technique proposed by Perez Arribas can only produce displacement hulls. The technique developed by Mancuso and Perez et al. has the ability to produce only planing hulls, whereas our parametric design framework has the ability to generate any type of planing displacement and semi-displacement hull.